want to do is the circuit quantization, I mean, uh, today. Now, we have all the elementary things, uh, very exciting. So now I give you an LC tank, okay? LC tank. You know this very well, right? Particularly the EE student. This is the LC tank, right? What is the total energy of this guy? When I say total energy, basically talking about Hamiltonian, right? And we already know the Hamiltonian of this guy, right? Uh, in this case, I'm not going to go through the Lagrangian, but we just ask what is the total energy of this uh, system. I don't know if you remember, but or, or even you remember, you might not be using the variable I want. Is equal to Q squared divided by 2C. Remember this? Q squared divided by 2C that I just proved. Right? Classically. Plus phi squared divided by 2L. This phi is the real flux because we are talking about a regular inductor. We are not talking about Joseph sum junction now, right? Just a regular inductor. Do you, have you learned this equation? Or oh, tried it? You should have, right? In E140 or something similar. Okay, anyway, you will be able to prove that, right? Just the thrust and this is charge. Why do I want to do this? Because it turns out the charge and the thrust they are the canonical conjugate variable. Of this system. Like X and P in simple harmonic oscillator. Okay. Then what does it mean? Now first look at the statist uh, some characteristic first. For this system, I know it has an impedance equal to square root LC. Okay, so you take it for granted if you learn transmission line before or some uh, circuit theory, right? The impedance is square root over LC. Its resonance frequency is one over square root LC, okay? So because of this, I can further change the Hamiltonian into this variable. Now it's still purely classical, okay? Q squared over 2C plus, right? I don't want to have one over L. Now L becomes half C omega R squared phi squared. Okay, because C omega R squared is 1 over LC, right? Then C times 1 over LC is 1 over L, right? So it is the original form. Okay, clear? Do you see anything similar to you have learned before? Very good. Simple harmonic oscillator. So that's what he said. Recall. SHO. The Hamiltonian is P squared over 2M plus one half uh, M omega zero square times X square. Am I right? Now, so if I say you trust me, I say now I'm going to quantize this circuit, like what we did the simple harmonic oscillator. I'm going to quantize. Right? It is a little bit difficult. Maybe I'm even not able to explain to you uh, why we can quantize or whatever. But we use the same method. We do the quantization. What do we do? We promote. 
the Q to Q head. We promote the thrust to thrust head. Right? Operator, we do this. And then with the condition thrust head Q head equals to I H bar. It is very, you maybe you don't feel why this is related to the position and momentum. But indeed, this is the Hamiltonian. And indeed, this is what you will get. You already know to how to derive actually from E140 or some more elementary class, the total energy in this system, because it's just the energy across the capacitor plus the energy across the inductor. The energy across the inductor is the first square divided by 2L. I did not prove it, but I just proved to you square Q squared divided by 2C is the energy in the capacitor. Then, of course, the total energy is this one, right? And if you trust that, I can promote this Q to Q hat, thrust to thrust hat, and then they have this commutation relationship. Then I have quantized the circuit, okay? So from here, of course, I can go through the math again, but because we already done that in simple harmonic oscillator, you see that M is just the C. The mass becomes the capacitance. And what? What else? Uh, Q is what? The P. And thrust is the Q. So this is a little bit confusing, right? So turn out this charge, Q, is the generalized momentum. This is the generalized momentum, right? It's also called Q, but it is momentum. But we need to use Q because Q is the symbol for the charge, okay? And then this thrust is the generalized Coordinate. Is, is this okay? Any questions? So what I did is I come up with the Hamiltonian. I change it to the form. I found that it is exactly the same as simple harmonic oscillator. Both of the equations are completely classical. But before that, we already tried to quantize the simple harmonic oscillator and we accept the fact that uh, X and P has this commutation relationship. And because of this, Q and phi has this the same commutation relationship. And tell the mass is the capacitor, Q is the uh, momentum, and the thrust is the charge. And actually, I always uh, swap it, right? So you need to be careful. Then I can just redo, reuse what I learned before. You remember A equal to what? You forgot, of course, right? I also forgot. A, the lowering operator in the simple harmonic oscillator case is X hat plus I P hat divided by M omega. Now, I already have the mapping. M is C, X hat is uh, fuzz, and then P is Q. So you just plug in, you find that this is your C omega R divided by 2 H bar, fuzz hat plus I Q C omega R. Right. Very long equation, uh, but yeah, it's just math, but the point is that you are very confident this is correct. Because we start with the same form. We just change the symbol. And we have the same quantization criteria. So it's normal to assume this is A hat equal to this one. And this A hat must be, must have the same function as the A hat in simple harmonic oscillator is lowering the lumber operator, uh, lowering the lumber by one, right? Similarly, I have a dagger equal to square root M 
omega in the simple harmonic case, right? Uh, I need to emphasize that this is not a, an equation for this slide. This is just recall. I just want you to recall SHO. And then we do the substitution. M is C, omega is omega R divided by 2H bar. And then X is just the first, right? And then I is the, I mean, P is the Q. And then M again is the C. And then omega is omega R. That is how I get it. This is just recall. The resonance frequency of this circuit, yeah, which correspond to the resonance frequency of the simple harmonic oscillator, right? And of course, I can do the same thing. Uh, maybe I will not write, maybe, let me still write down just for you to study in the future. You don't need to memorize this equation, but you need to read through to know what I did. For the X, I hope that I have the right equation. It is this, H bar divided by M omega, which I gave you at the very beginning in the review, did I? Something like, not this one though. This is the quantization of general EM wave. A plus A dagger, right? This is again, recall, right? Recall. SHO. And because of this, how about, can you guys help me to substitute? What is it here? H bar is H bar. What is M again? C, very good. And what is omega? Omega R. And then all I need to do is just keep this. A dagger plus, is it A dagger? No, A plus A dagger. Okay. Now, in this case, I can further write it as this. Some paper like to do this. Right. And this is, they call it zero point fluctuation. This is related, later you will see, to the minimum energy you can have, right? So I just, because of time, let me just copy the last one, uh, then P equals to negative i square root h bar m omega divided by 2 a minus a dagger. So this one equals to i minus i square root. Again, h bar is c omega r divided by 2 a minus a dagger. Okay, so what I'm doing is just keep copying. But I hope you to understand that I, if I did not study simple harmonic oscillator before, I will go through the same quantization, go through all the slides we had before I come up with this math, yeah. The, I just want to make sure that the two on the right hand side, that's actually equal to uh, uh, phi dot or phi hat and q hat. Here, uh, where, which one, here? Uh, no, no, uh, the, like the phi zero point fluctuation, uh -huh. a plus a, it's not equal to x hat, right? It's equal to phi hat. You mean this one? That whole term, like right now it says it's equal to x hat. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Yes, you're right, you're right. Uh, I, I, I should actually uh, change this. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I, I, instead of making this equal, I, I mess you up. X should be what? X should be the Q, right? Uh, no, no, X should be five. five. Sorry, X should be five. Okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Right, so so of course I cannot say this is equal, right? I we should just, uh, just to mean that this implies, this implies um, Q hat equals to this one. Is that okay? Okay, good. Uh, let me uh, use one more minute to just write down this uh, zero point fluctuation. Uh, this equals to 
uh, I Q point fluctuation A plus A A right, you just plug in and in summary we have phi C of point fluctuation equals to square root H bar C over 2 and then Q zero point fluctuation equal to square root H bar over 2 Z right I skipped the math but all you need to do just compare this to here you can find this right based on base based on omega r equal to 1 over square root lc impedance equal to square root l over c for this particular circuit okay now although a lot of men looks like you did not learn anything but do you see that i already quantized this, the circuit i have a a dagger so i can create the lumber operator and then apply to the eigenstate then i have many different level right so my lc circuit now quantize it will take one two three four photons or zero photons but it still has energy due to this zero point fluctuation because of quantization okay so uh, let's stop here i will continue on wednesday